Hello everyone, welcome back, how are you doing? And today we're going to be checking out the TDS Sim GTN XI. And you can have a real Garmin unit on your Sim. And that's what we're going to be checking out today. Uh, the developer was nice enough to send me a copy. And I've got to say, this is really, really nice. Uh, this is a real Garmin unit. So, I don't know how else you can put it. it it's a real Garmin unit. <laughs> I know I'm repeating myself, but I don't believe you can get anything better than that. But we're going to be doing a quick flight. I will be using NeoFly for a mission. Uh, we're going to be doing a, an LPV approach. And yeah, let's check this one out. By the way, the GTN XI is available for 53, 54 US dollars, I believe. I I think it's 50 euros on the TDS Sim website. But it includes all the Garmin actual features. So what we're gonna be doing um, is we're gonna be turning on the battery and the source before I forget. Uh, yeah, we do have enough votes. It is on standby. Let's turn you on. And after we check this out, we can go over the, the checklist. And I do have a checklist for the TBM850. Um, I will drop a link in my description down below. But yeah. Look at this. So, so nice. Um, we have the map. As Pause. you do. System it test is a... Okay. It is a GPS, it should have a map. So you can see all the taxiways, Bravo. Here we have runway 31, which is the one we're gonna be using. We can see the the places in the airport. We can see the airspace. And I believe we can actually click this. I was, I was playing around, yeah. And you can go like airspace info. So nice, so nice. It is a class delta, max altitude, minimum. And if you move around and you find a different one, you can just keep going like this one. Let's, this one will be Bravo, yeah, class Bravo. A max 7,000, minimum surface, sweet. Um, let's zoom in. A nice feature, we have the inner, the, the larger knob. We can rotate this, flight plan, traffic, terrain, super nice. Very, very nice stuff. Uh, let's get rid of the message. And let's get this one going. Okay, um, we do have charts, however, uh, I don't believe you can actually um, connect this to Navigraph, but uh, it does include the charts for North America. Um, yeah, we have our flight plan, uh, waypoint info, services, utilities, so here we can actually uh, plan our trip to all the good stuff. Oh, uh, we can check the GPS status. This is the this is the real Garmin unit. So if you are familiar with the actual GPS, you should be right at home. So flight plan. Um, yeah, let's let's start the aircraft first. Let me grab my checklist real quick, and let me start NeoFly first. Hello, pilot. Let's see what's on the books for you today. And there we have it. Pilot from dispatch, please stand by. Uh, payload should be 1577. Almost max takeoff weight. Close enough.
Arc and Brake is sat. Crash Lever up. Uh, generator is on main. Starter is off. Ignition is on auto. Exterior lights are off. Gyro off. Circuit breakers are all in. Yep. Um, the ice. Let's get out of here. All off and yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, gear is luckily down. AP trim is off. Radio master is on actually, but we're gonna leave this on. Um, bleeder is off. Uh, AC is off. The dump switch is guarded. Fuel selector is on manual. Auxiliary boost pump is on off. Okay. Uh, tank selector left. Throttle is on idle. It is. Uh, propeller full forward. Full forward. Condition lever on cutoff. SAR selector battery or GPU. We do have this on battery. Uh, we do have enough votes. Okay. Exterior lights light test. Okay. And then shader test one and two. So test one. It is an initiating. Test two. It is still initiating. Uh, ECS light test. And we have this here. Light test. Flaps fully down. We can hear them. Uh, landing gear test one and two. Okay, pito and stall heat on and check initiator. So we have them here. So extinguished, extinguished. Get rid of the caution warning. Uh, the ice panel light test and then check all off. Oxygen pressure check and on. Check and on. Radio master on, it is on horn test. Now fuel selector on auto. ITD test. Um, yeah, ITD test hold. Get rid of you. Nav and strobe lights on. So nav, strobe on. Uh, Pre-flight and before start checklists complete. Now for the engine start, uh, cutoff lever is on cutoff, source selector is on battery, Auxilia auxiliary boost pump is on. We do have fuel pressure. Ignition is on auto, it is. Starter on. NG is climbing at least 13 and then we introduce fuel 13 you're good to go contact the tower for clearance we have a good start apparently off at 50 46, 7, 8, 9, 10, starter coming off. Okay. SAR selector battery, condition lever high. Auxiliary boost bump on auto. Votimeter, 28 votes. We do have 28. Uh, gyro instruments all on. Green light, green light, green light. And the lights are working, huh? Maybe it's temperature gated. Could be. Uh, inertial separator on. Flaps for takeoff. Flaps for takeoff. Uh, bleed air coming on auto. Aircon coming on. Cabin altitude cruise plus one. 
So cruise today will be 16,000. Let's double check this real quick. And if you look here on Navigraph, uh, 16,000. Looking good. So cruise altitude will be 16 plus a thousand, so 17. There. Uh, EFIS, EFIS, um, there we go. I absolutely love this. <laughs> um, AP trim. On. And taxi light will be coming on shortly. Inertia separator, make sure it's on. It is. Okay, let's get our flight plan down. We are going to Kilo, Papa Goof, Delta. And as you can see, we do have fast find. Uh, it's basically going to guess where you're going based on proximity. Very, very nice. Okay, we have our destination airport. Uh, let's insert Thunder. So, Thunder. No? Um, there's no U, is there? Yeah, no U. Uh, after Thunder, we're going to LBV. So, insert B4, L. Yeah, fast find. Absolutely love fast find. Flat, fast find. Uh, we're gonna be landing on 3-3. Three, three. Uh, load procedure. We're gonna be approaching on 3-3. Three, three. It's gonna be on an RNAV approach. There we go. Via LPV. Vectors, looking good. Okay, so here, I think I'm supposed to get rid of you. So we can go from LBV to Patsy. So now we can check the, the actual map so we can see if we're happy with the flight plan. It is heading the in the right way. LBV from LBV. We're supposed to go this way for Patsy, Farby. Our final so we can actually do the LPV approach. But it looks like there is a small discontinuation which is basically um, intercepting this. So vectors to final, yeah. It's looking good. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, now let's go for the checklist again. So taxi, taxi light on, inertia separator is on, terrain test. Yeah, one thing I absolutely love with the 850 is how um, nimble it is in the ground. So let's get rid of the parking brake. And one thing we can do... We barely need any uh, space to move. It is so agile, it's beautiful. We can zoom in, we're doing taxi, we can actually look at the taxiways. And honestly, it is crazy how it's a real Garmin unit in a flight simulator. We 
We're gonna hold short of the runway. Grab the checklist real quick. And before I take off, let's turn on PETA 1 and 2. Weather radar coming on. Landing lights on and ignition on if heavy. Takeoff checklist complete. Taxi lights coming off. Guys are looking good. No lights that are not expected. And double checking the trim. And the green, yes. Black Square did a fantastic job with the 850. Okay. Slowly advancing the throttle. As you can see, the GPS automatically zoomed out. 80 knots rotate. Tapping the Pilot brakes. Fly safe. Gear coming up. Pitching for 10 degrees. Laps up. Now let's trim this. So I can slowly let go of the yoke. Director coming on, nav coming on. Yaw damper and autopilot. Looking good. Okay, let's go vertical speed. And we do 1500 engage. And inertia spreader can come off. Light extinguished. Uh, pause the brake gear up. Flaps up. Now I'm gonna slowly pull back the throttle so I can engage the 850 mode. Bam. Then we're going to watch the torque. When you engage the 850 mode, you can go above 100% on the torque. Super nice stuff. The limit is 121.4, I believe. Something like that. Absolutely beautiful day to be flying. Yeah. Okay, climb the ice as required, inertia separator as required, cabin altitude cruise plus 1000, which we have set. And checklist complete. And as we can see, our airspeed is looking pretty nice, so we can actually tweak the vertical speed if we want to. Uh, that is something we can do. We can also sync the heading, which is something you should do if you're flying on auto on, with your autopilot. You should keep your heading uh, synced, 
This way, if anything goes wrong, you can just uh, revert back to heading instead of nav. It's just a uh, good practice. Back to the uh, flight plan. We have menu, terrain, airways, charts. And I will have a future video just looking at the, the GPS itself. Okay, so final approach fix, Dodic, uh, 1600 feet. Is this accurate? Um, can we access the approach info? Can we access the chart through this? I believe we can do chart. Uh, arrival approaches, there we go. This is a ILS for runway 4, that, that's not what we want. We want RNAV 33, yes. We should have an LPV. Cool. Uh, can we make this invert colors? Yes, we can. Nice. Um. Mr. Approach, climb to 2000 direct EPSU. Sixteen hundred at Dodic. Dodic sixteen hundred and twenty five hundred at Patsy. LPV two fifty. Okay. Uh, crossing ten thousand. Landing lights coming off, and the torque is looking good. Let's tweak the torque again. And the uh, vertical speed, 1500. It's looking so peaceful outside. Uh, LBV 16,000. Save. And map. And a really nice feature of the Rio Garmin unit, and it is a feature included in the GTN XI, uh, we have a glide feature. So if you lose your engine, uh, the GPS kind of predicts how much you can actually glide. Very, very nice stuff. We are approaching our cruise altitude, so cruise checklist. Cabin altitude. Check. Fuel monitor. It is looking good. Left, and we do have auto selected. Uh, DI says required. It, it's not really required. I don't see any any con condensation or anything outside. Any humidity. Uh, landing gear. Nope. Um, cruise. The ice. Inertial separator as required. Ignition on if heavy rain. And cruise checklist complete. And now we just have to monitor the aircraft. A really nice feature of the GTN XI and the Garmin uh, unit itself is you have this arrow here. It's basically showing you where the closest airport uh, for you is if you have any sort of serious issue. Uh, it really helps you um, basically lighten the load for the pilot. Very, very nice stuff. I am 11 nautic miles away from this. So let's assume uh, air traffic control is vectoring us so we can so we can intercept our approach. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna activate the approach. Activate vectors. Actually. Yep. Yeah. Page. 
And this is the... What we're going after. And now with this uh, activated, we can go back to heading. And we can pretty much intercept this ourselves. And for this, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna start our descent to 10,000 at first. We're gonna go and... Let's do 2,000. Sea level. And now we can drop the throttle back. And if you don't want to watch your airspeed, you can always go indicated airspeed. It's going to maintain the, the airspeed based on your throttle. It's super handy. Okay, the sand checklist cabin altitude is on sea level. Uh, fuel is looking good. Pulse light is coming on. Uh, the ice is required. Inertia separator as required. Ignition on. If heavy rain, the sand checklist complete. And as we approach 10,000, I'm gonna turn on the landing lights. And actually, we should probably go down to... It's 16, isn't it? 16. And we can see a banana here. Which is when it thinks we are going to um, hit our target altitude. So 2500, which is the altitude for uh, Patsy, or 16 for Dodic. They are pretty nice. So let's do 16. Let's deactivate 850 mode. And a very nice thing, which I believe I haven't shown yet, we can actually, we can actually go to the airport itself, which would be here, in, and we select the waypoint, and we should have METAR, so weather. 3004. Then we can tweak this warden. 3004. And now we're going to be cruising all the way um, into the airport. I've got to say, the TBM-850 is such a fast aircraft. So fast. We're, we are at 1500. Nice. Before landing, uh, landing lights should be on. Inertial separator on below 200 knots. Let's wait for the light. Yeah, 
it's on. And we are approaching Dodic. And as we approach Dodic, we should see the glide slope uh, light up here. And then we're gonna arm approach. Uh, Lenny, you're down below 178, flaps one below 178. I just wanna intercept the, the glide slope is alive. Approach uh, below 178, so gear coming down. And flaps one. Glide slope is. We have intercepted the glide slope. We have three greens. And flaps we will be full down at 122 knots. One twenty. You know what? What I like the most about the TBM eight fifty, it is such a fast aircraft, and at the same time, you can also go very very slow. Super nice. Uh, decision altitude is 200 feet above. But the autopilot is doing everything. And the autopilot uh, does come... The This mode in the autopilot is included with the GTN XI, I believe. Five hundred. It's basically on ILS. Okay, we are at three hundred. My controls. And now I'm gonna fly the rest of the way there. Whites, two reds. Dive here a little bit. At the end of the runway. Now we can slow down our descent. You greased that landing. I know. Ace. I know. Transport Lap's coming up. Clear the runway and taxi to parking. And now the autopilot automatically zoomed in for us. Super nice stuff. Let's zoom in a little bit more. After landing checklist, flaps are up. They are. Weather. Operator off, the eyes off, and our separator on, Ito off. This was a pretty long runway, that's why I didn't um, quite bother, I didn't bother um, Lenny at the thousand foot marker. I was really looking for, forward to that grease landing. Slides. 
Plenty lights. Flight director, yaw damper. Okay, landing light is off, taxi light is on, pulse and oxygen is off. Uh, after landing checklist complete, now we can basically taxi to our parking spot, which is pretty much wherever we want to park at. I've got to say, I am still learning the Garmin GTN XI. However, I absolutely love this. And I've got to say, the developer is a really nice guy. And being in Flight Sim for a while, um, I kind of value that. You know, having nice developers is, is always a really, really big plus. And not just flight sim in general, but software and games in general. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is taxi light off. Uh, parking brake is on. And now shut down checklist. Uh, yep. Lead air is off. Aircon is off. Ethos is off. Gyro, all of them off. AP and trim off. Radio Master can come off in a little bit. Throttle idle for one minute. And then propeller fetter for 15 seconds, condition lever cut off, auxiliary boost pump off, and then we check everything is off and crash lever down. Yeah, I am reading my own checklist, I will have a link for it in my description down below. So, what can I say about the GTN XI? Look at this North apron, APG avionics, PDG air center. It is so detailed, it's, it's crazy. It is very, very worth buying. Um, this is us taking a look at the GTN XI, but this is well, well worth the money. If you're looking for a good GPS, this is a no-brainer. Um, I will have a link for this in my description down below, and I should be using this in future videos. Uh, if I use any, if I make any more videos with the DBM, I'm gonna have this and any other aircrafts that actually support the TDS GTN XI. Uh, yeah, thank you very much everyone, and wherever you are, I hope stay safe, fly safe, bye bye. And before I go, uh, to the developer, thank you very much for a copy so I could check this out. This is, quite honestly, a fantastic job. It is very, very much worth using, very much worth buying. It is truly great. Again, everyone, bye-bye.